HEC can hugely contribute because because it's not only about engineers, first of all, when people usually they think, oh yeah, space exploration and space in general is only for engineers, very technical, uh, hardcore stuff, but, but it isn't. We have all kinds all kinds of jobs at the European Space Agency and in the space sector in general. It's unbelievable the, the range, just a broad spectrum of what we do at the European Space Agency and in space in general. It starts with the very the most mundane basic applications, satellite navigation, um, weather satellites, weather forecast, um, communications, things like this. Um, and then we move on to the more, to be more essential, but maybe a bit more distant. We're looking at the Earth from space. That's by taking a step back and flying satellites into space that we can measure all the data that we need um, to conclude on the general state of the planet and the environment. I mean, climate change is measured from space. Also doing what we call exploration. Exploration is going to, I mean, going where no one has been before to answer more philosophical maybe questions like where does life came from originally? Nobody can answer this question today. Uh, we know the ingredients, but how they got here in the first place, no one knows. Um, can we lose our atmosphere and our, um, our liquid water, which is what happened to Mars. Mars used to be very much more akin to the Earth and nowadays it's a barren desert. So, um, so that's what we're trying to solve by going deeper and further into space. We need everybody. We'll need space law. In the future, we'll be on the moon. Lots of different nations. How do we deal with that? We don't know yet. We have to write some, you know, law and regulation and things like this. There's, there's really all kinds of endeavors, and that's why I like space so much because it, it, it involves everybody to get the result we all need. Now we understand the Earth. Um, now we know a little bit more, a little bit better how things work. Um, which is why now we talk about climate change, which we didn't do 50 years ago. I mean, nobody could conclude scientifically because we just didn't have the data, and today we do. That's why I came here today, talked to the students, involved them as much as possible, and tell them we're doing this for you, but we also need you to take part.